Hey guys, this is Ranjan Ranganathan and welcome back to 5W series. Have you ever wondered how good it could have been if we were able to float in the sea without much effort, like this guy in the pic? Wow! Interesting, right? But don't you dare do this feat elsewhere except in the Dead Sea. Where is the Dead Sea and what is interesting about it? It is very unique for its nature which you will get to know soon. Dead Sea, also known as the Salt Sea, is a salt lake bordering Jordan to the east and Israel and the West Bank to the west. It is a hypersaline lake that is truly one of Earth's unique places. So first, why is it called the Dead Sea? Earliest translations of the name of the Dead Sea into non-indigenous languages often use its original name of the Salt Sea. But already by the Roman era, visitors to Judea had begun to refer to the sea as the Dead Sea as they were mostly struck with how the waters were devoid of all life forms whether plants or living creatures, thereby, in their view, a dead sea. Nevertheless, in the days when the Jordan River flowed south from the Sea of Galilee with full force in the wet season, one could witness reeds and fish swept down with the river flow into the highly saline water of the Dead Sea. Neither fish nor algae can possibly survive in water with ten times the salinity of the oceans. It was a death trap for them and perhaps another reason for this name. Let's look into a few more interesting facts about this Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is 377 meters, that's 1237 feet deep making it the deepest hypersaline lake in the world. When I say hypersaline, it is a landlocked body of water that contains significant concentrations of sodium chloride or other mineral salts with saline levels surpassing that of ocean water. The Dead Sea's unusually high salt concentration means that people can easily float in the Dead Sea due to natural buoyancy. There is one other place where this happens, in the Great Salt Lake in Utah in the United States. The Dead Sea is roughly 8.6 times saltier than the ocean. This salinity makes for a harsh environment in which animals cannot flourish, hence its name. The mineral content of the water, the very low content of pollens and other allergens in the atmosphere, the reduced ultraviolet component of solar radiation and the higher atmospheric pressure at this great depth each have specific health effects. It has been the supplier of a wide variety of products from balms for Egyptian mummification to potash for fertilizers. Hope you guys enjoyed all these facts about the Dead Sea. I hope you will get to see it someday. <laughs> Keep watching 5W's series for lots more information like this. Stay curious and stay smart.